Hello, good morning, and welcome to another Monday morning art talk. So just before we get started here, I just want to let any of you guys know who are in the uh, the UK area, Birmingham, so to speak, I'm going to be coming there and doing a two-day workshop out there in October, and the website is listed uh, right down here below, uh, which you can go to and check out more details. So full intensive all day, every day you're going to, uh, we're going to just be working lots of exercises, a lot of drawing techniques, and then the next day, which is really cool, we're going to be having a figure drawing model and doing figure drawing uh, session through there too, so just uh, feel free to check that out. And my upcoming class is starting this coming uh, August, uh, where I'm just taking five students at a time, if you're able to come out to Simi Valley area where I live. Don't be afraid, I get some people actually who are afraid to sign up, they told me, because they're scared because there's only five people in the class um, and they're nervous and they don't feel they're good enough and I, I oh, don't ever feel like you're not good enough that's my job is to help push you and make you better at seeing and observing so don't think that you're not good enough and and working with just five students is even a greater experience you're not stuck in a room with 10 students or 15 and then you get more one-on-one -on -one attention too so um, don't be afraid you know you can't be afraid of these things okay I wanted to throw that out there today I want to start off with a great quote by Oscar Wilde and Oscar Wilde said um, be yourself everyone else is already taken I love that. That's so awesome because so much, right? We want to, we see all these other people and they're so great and they're so good at what they do and look at their lives and look at what they're accomplishing and we just want to be them. But no, just be yourself. They're already taken. They're, they're doing what they have to do. They're living their lives. They have their baggage. They have their whatever it is. That's what they have to do. So be yourself, all right? So that's that's the one major lesson for today. But um, yeah, what I wanted just to um, discuss here, I'm going to just bring up my note again of what I what my art talk is. I write down all my like art talk little discussions on my phone whenever I think of ideas, which is constant, and that's part of the curse, I would say. It's, it's a good curse, but can be a bad curse of being an artist is your mind is always thinking. It, it's like there is no just sit and do nothing. I mean, you, you want to create, you want to do things. So I have to make a list because I could be driving and I get a, an idea or I experience something that week and an idea spawns from that. And that's where all my notes come from for these art talks just to discuss, uh, So, which is good for me just to help organize me a bit. But uh, today's art talk, what I wanted to talk about was... Um, why it's important to enjoy the free time drawing before you become a pro, okay? I know that everyone's in a rush. I was in a rush too. You want to, you're just trying to plan and plot and be somewhere where you're currently not. You want to have an experience, that job, be that professional. This is why we're learning, whether we're starting when we're younger, even when you're a professional and you are currently working at a studio right now, even though you're there, you're still thinking that you want to, um, you know, become, be at a different place, have that different job. But what I think is so important is, I and I was remembering this and where this art tour came from was because I was remembering the freedom that I had. And when I talk to people through the mentorship is I, I hear people a lot of the time, again, it's that that rush, that, that just wanting to get to that place and just realizing that when you do get that job as the professional, a lot of your that freedom of that desire and that want that you even want to do in your career just gets sucked out. Now you're just working all the time. You're it's cool. You're doing your professional job. You're working. You got your paying job, which is what we're trying to achieve, what we're trying to get to. But all of a sudden, it starts to become not as fulfilling anymore. You're not as you're not enjoying it anymore. You feel like you've accomplished it. You feel like you've done it. You've been there and, and you're just kind of wanting that need and that want to do something else. And what I want you to do or think about is just knowing that that's going to be the reality. Some of you guys may already be there. Some of you guys may not be there, but knowing that's going to be the reality in the future, it's so vital just to enjoy that freedom 
of drawing what you want to draw right now and not being in such a rush and not having that mentality of the rush and, and letting yourself just relax a bit because drawing is for yourself is the most rewarding thing that you can ever do. And you have to do it. And it's meaning when you're going and meeting up with friends or you're going to figure drawing and you're doing that just because you want to do it, because you want to benefit from it, not because you're in competition with anyone else. When you go and schedule time to go draw with your friends and they at the coffee shop, at the, where, wherever you go, making those little moments at lunchtime before you, you know, whenever you can on the weekends, whenever you can do it, it's those little moments that are the things that you got to hold on to. Those are the joys. That's like the, that's the real gold right there. That's the nugget where we go into eventually uh, where we, we, you miss out on that and you don't want to miss on that. And you're going to regret when you are working so much in your professional career that you don't even have the opportunity anymore to do the drawings for yourself because you're just too damn busy working on everyone else's stuff. So you really got to take that time and nurture it and love it and appreciate that and stop again worrying so about that thing that hasn't occurred yet or that that future thing because you're gonna just you're gonna miss it um so that's the, those are the things that i would really say is embrace this time if you happen to be in this moment in your life right now if you're not at this place in your life and you file that feel that you are in that 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 that, that where you're un, where you're unmotivated because you're so caught up in in your job and and everything else that you're doing to really dedicate that time really dedicate that time and and that that, that is just plan you got monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday there are 7 days in a week you know what those seven days are never going to change. It's always going to be Monday through Sunday, okay? You know what else isn't going to change? From day to night. Some places you live, you get night a lot longer. Some places you get day a lot longer. You know, it depends on sort of time of the year. But the reality is it's either going to be dark or it's going to be light, okay? You got the times. We know these things. These things are fixed in our life. We have these fixed things that are going to be there all the time. So now we know that these are fixed and these things aren't changed and the seasons aren't going to change and certain things in your life aren't going to change. It's just the way they are, okay? Try to find that time within these fixed areas of your life that you can make these extra little uh, pleasure pockets for yourself pleasure pockets it's a fun little word pleasure pocket have a little pleasure pocket for yourself where this is your little pleasure pocket where you can just do the thing that you want to do and enjoy the process of doing it and don't put such a burden on yourself you know about doing it people ask me all the time you know because you know how i feel about competitions and all this stuff I'm totally against competitions which are benefiting other people and benefiting other companies and they're just doing it just to try to get free biz dev work from you. Um, but I'm totally open for competitions where it's a community-based thing and you guys are challenging each other and you own all the rights to your work and you can post it on their site and your site. Hey, if that's what it takes to motivate you to get you inspired to work on an image that day and work on your own personal drawing, Go for it. Do that. Absolutely. Because it's for you. All right. And that's what you need. You, you need to be held accountable, right? You need to have some place to go and sometimes show up. Not, some people really need that. Some people don't. Some people are self-motivated and they're going to do it themselves regardless. Other people need to be challenged. They need to be told what the daily challenge is and it spurs a new idea and that's what you want. Okay. This is your creativity. So if that's what you need to do, you do that. Um, but also I'd say try to just don't limit yourself to that build. Try to find other things that you could spawn off of that as you keep working towards your portfolio. And once again, know what it is that even again, I'm talking to professionals out there too. Know where it is you really want to end up because most professionals I do currently know are in positions they don't even want to be in. They just got there because they got that opportunity. Okay. And now they're doing it, but that's not the end all goal. That's not the final outcome. Um, so your goal once again 
is to really determine what that uh, what it is you are trying to do. Or maybe you want to do uh, book covers. Maybe that you want to do um, you know illustrations for book covers. God, man, there's so many of those still out there. People, even though there's not bookstores out there. People need book covers and there's billions and millions of book covers that need to be created all the time and authors looking for book covers all the time and illustrators all the time and they may be independent. There's so many independent. You know what's, you know what's freaking awesome right now when you think about this, just think of, this is why, this is why things are awesome because as the world is growing and we're evolving and we are getting more tech, tech, technological um if that's the word and we start moving into all these other outlets through the amazon what is spawning and breeding is a new type of person a a, a mom and dad a a mom and pup so to speak business where these stay-at-home wives and husbands or anyone else are wanting to create their own things and now they have an outlet and they can go through these uh, create you publish your own books online, right? All these sites, and and create their own accounts and their YouTubes, and they need avatars and they need this and they need that. So they're seeking artists all the time. So are you going to be the one that's going to be catering to them? Are you going to be the person where? People don't know where to go to that artist to find that artist and they don't even know so much. They're not just going to be searching all through these deviant art and all that, but really for yourself building this own business to where you're the one you love doing book illustrations, but you don't have an agent. You haven't acquired an agent yet. And that's something just to even look at, but you're not getting the big client jobs, but now you're working it for Sarah who lives down the street, who's just written her own 300 page book and needs a book cover. And maybe you could create that for her, you know, you're not doing it for free. It's not this exposure thing, you know, because uh, you know, don't fall into that trap. At least get paid something. But maybe you're doing that and you build up your website towards that. And that becomes your daily challenge where you're just focusing on doing that. Okay. So again, it becomes unlimited. It's how far do you want to take this? How far do you want to go? How far can you envision? Don't just be creative on the side of drawing, you got to be creative on the business mindset and aspect of this because really that's 99% of all this is is creating awesome work but now getting your work seen but there's so many artists out there who are terrific and you look at them every day when you're looking through these different websites and these different competitions and you think, good God, man, how can I even, why even bother? How do I even compete against these guys? The reality is even though as talented as some of these are, they're in positions and jobs that they hate and don't even know how to get more work for themselves and build up their own audience. And that's really what you're trying to do because that's what everyone else is trying to do. Every other company that's hiring you is just trying to build up their own audience. So this is why you have to keep thinking outside the box. And this is why you got to keep working for yourself for fun, for creating your own content, building your own website, know what your desire is, know what that audience you're really trying to reach, what you're really trying to say, what you're really trying to do, where do you really want to be? And when you figure all that out and you've written that down and started to really put it into perspective, well, it's a stepping stone. And that stepping stone is going to take you on to that next stepping stone. And then you're going to eventually cross that big giant lake that was just that pond that looked so hard to get across at one point. But you realize one by one, you place these stepping stones which help you get there, all right? And that's what your job is. That's what you want to do. So embrace this time. Don't look at it as stressful. Don't don't wait. To, don't be in such a rush to get those jobs. I'm telling you, once you become a pro, you're going to miss. You are going to miss your drawing days when you drew for fun, when you used to draw caricatures all the time because when you loved it, when you went to life drawing all the time because you loved it, you're going to miss those things. So embrace them now. Enjoy them. That's it. Have a good one. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care. This is Steven and I just wanted to tell you about this cool thing that I'm doing right now through my website at silvertunes.com. It's a Skype mentorship. In a sense, what I want to do is just 
talk to you, meet you, tell me about things that are happening in your life, see if there's anything that I could do to help you. I can look over your artwork, do your portfolio, and just maybe try to push you in the right direction that you want to take your life and your journey, all right? So you can go to silvertunes.com, go to classes, click on mentorship, and you can learn all about it. We can try to arrange a time, set up a date. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. Um, and I just wanted to make it just very affordable just to open it up because I love doing this. I love meeting people from all over the planet. It's a really cool thing. And uh, with this technology, why not? So that's it. Thanks. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> go. go back. Go back. Go back. Great. Go back. Go back.